Chong Diaz, and I'm the person behind Taza Platito Desserts. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a very special recipe out of a simple dessert. So it's called Triple Chocolate Pie. Now don't panic if I mention pie because I have the solution for you for those who are afraid to make their own crusts. What I have here is frozen puff pastry. This is how we start our crust. I have here one frozen puff pastry that's already been thawed. What we first do is sprinkle some flour so that it doesn't stick to your pan. And then I'm holding here a disposable aluminum pan. It's already easy for you to give away as a gift. We measure first um, the pan on top of the puff pastry, cut it to size. Just try not to stretch it so that it won't shrink when baking. So see, because we sprinkled flour under and on top, we can easily lift the frozen pastry, the puff pastry over the pan. Let me just give you a quick introduction as to how I started baking. I have been baking for quite some time, even during college, but I, I entered into the baking business right after college, actually. Tasa Platito Desserts was born out of my love for making desserts for my family. So going back to the crust, the overhang here, we can still cut. And then in order for it not to shrink during baking, this is what we do, we, we try to crimp it. Baking is actually a stress reliever for me. It's always been something that I can look forward to. When, when I was just a novice baker, that's what I would do. I would try to, I collect recipes, I try to experiment, I try to improve on it. It's, uh, it's actually, you try to make your recipe your own by, by, by giving it your own flair. It has to be something that you're very familiar with if you're very passionate about eating chocolate. So now we have our brownie filling to mix. What we need, we have butter and oil. For some, they're purists and all, all butter dapat yan. But I put oil because it gives moisture and tenderness also to the brownies. Most of us actually want chewy, moist, very fudgy brownies. This is what we are going to make. This is going to combine together. For the chips, we are going to melt the chips after the butter has melted. The sugar and the cocoa, they go together. So if you're going to ask me, why do you need to combine the sugar and the cocoa powder? This is one way of removing the lumps from the cocoa powder. We are also combining the flour, baking soda, and salt. We give it a whisk. So first, we melt the butter and the oil. So this is our melted butter and oil. Add the chocolate chips. Oh God. I prefer semi-sweet or bittersweet chocolate rather than milk chocolate to temper the sweetness because you already have a lot of sugar. When you make brownies, it's really up to you what you want. You can use the milk chocolate as toppings. You can add nuts. You can add chocolate candies. It's very versatile. Okay. So this is still a little hot. And what we do to uh, lower the temperature is to add the sugar. See, when we add the sugar, the mixture starts to thicken. And when I touch the bowl, it's not so hot anymore. That's the time that we can add the eggs. So we add the egg one at a time. I know a lot of you have uh, different ways of making brownies. Some of you might do it with pure cocoa powder. But this one, through the years, I've noticed that when you add either semi-sweet or bittersweet, you get that crispy crust on top. It's my super favorite. Everybody wants that, you know, that, that crust on top. After this, we add the flour. So just a little stirring hand. Don't stir it vigorously so you don't incorporate air into your brownies and then make it cakey. Because some of you will ask, Bakit ang 
ang brownies ko parang cake. Medyo sumobra sa pag-mix. Medyo ng gigil. Your brownie, your brownie batter is thick and gooey from the start pala. So, when you bake it, expect chewiness, expect uh, very, very fudgy brownies. This is our chilled puff pastry. It's important that we chill it after pressing it on the pan so that there's less tendency to shrink. Usually, and I don't know how many of you have experienced it, kapag nilagay nyo yung puff pastry or any pie crust for that matter, and then you just bake it right away, aatras na yan. Aatras na yan dito. What we do is we chill it first to, to let it rest and then use it for baking na. Okay. So look at that. Gooey, gooey brownies. Brownie batter. So if you give this brownie a uh, triple chocolate pie to a friend or to a cousin, expect them to really get crazy biting into it. All right, so this goes in the oven for 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. Everyone has a pandemic story, I'm sure. So, ako din meron. And it has something to do with finding my ingredients in a very accessible place, sana. This is the Caravella Flakes that I'm talking about. And I found this at Gavino's Baking Essentials. What strikes me is that I've never seen it in other baking stores, and Gavino's is so, so near my place. So if you want to make this triple chocolate pie at home, just visit metro.style. Always remember, in Gavino's, Anyone can bake.